So Bobcat have a full range of rotary telehandlers. They have a full range of rigid teleporters. And now here at Bauma for the very first time, they have a brand new super compact teleporter. Let's go check it out. So I'm here with Florian Hilbert, who is the product manager for Bobcat Telehanders, and of course, they are launching a brand new model here today. Uh, Florian, please tell us uh, about your new machine. Yeah, sure. So I am happy to introduce you today our smallest telehandler from the Bobcat range. Mm -hmm. So it is a TL2560. And this is officially is called a super compact teleporter. Super compact, exactly. Yeah. Yes. yeah, and I can see it by looking at it. It does seem very compact, very agile, very, very maneuverable. Can you give us some of the dimensions of this machine? The main dimensions are the width of 1.84 meters mm -hmm. for a uh, height of 1.93 meters. Yes. Because you had a super compact teleporter a number of years back and this kind of sees the reintroduction of a super compact teleporter now. Yeah, it was a T2250 mm -hmm. and now it's a, we have more capacity with the 2.5 ton mm -hmm. and uh, we lift higher as well. The big thing that I see about this machine, I see a lot of elements from the new R series design that I'm seeing in the larger teleporters that are around us today and I can definitely see that in the cabin but is this a is this a custom cabin that's designed directly and uh, for this machine no so it is a, one of the big advantage of this machine mm -hmm. we can you, you can see open and the into the cab mm -hmm. it is the same cabin than our largest telehandler mm -hmm. so the 18 meters so you can see low step ergonomic handles and a wide door opening mm -hmm. of uh, 90 degrees yeah. One of my favorite things about these new R series teleporters is the new joystick. And yeah. any of my customers who see it and who operate it, they love the joystick, the fact you've got all the multi functions at the back. I see you have the bucket shake you on this machine. Well. Yeah. yeah. The same, you know, ease of use and intuitiveness are very important in construction. Is this a built-in camera that I see in front yeah. of me as well? There is a rear camera. As soon as you, you engage a reverse, mm -hmm. Uh, you, you will see the rear camera on yeah. the display. Because on a machine in like this, obviously I see the mixing bucket in the front. And in terms of headstocks, first of all, is that a Bobcat, Bobtatch headstock that I yes. see? Yes, what we call the Bobtatch. For the first time, we, we are able to introduce the Bobtatch carriage on a telehandler. Yes. And thanks to this, we, we are the most versatile solution on the market. I was going to say, because that means that you have the open and the option for quite a lot of the skid steer attachments to cross over the telehandler attachments. Am I right in saying yeah. that? No, no, you're right, you're right. So thanks to this, we can benefit from the wide range of all skid steer attachments, so around 90 attachments mm -hmm. are available to fit on this machine. Is it available with a hydraulic coupler the same as the telehandlers or other different headstocks from the factory? Yes, as well. Yeah. Here it's a power up attach, so you can, you can uh, stay seated on the machine yeah. and um, change the attachment. So in terms of the design, and we'll walk around the machine now, in terms yeah. of yeah. the design, in terms of the construction of this telehander, is this all done in-house in Ponchetto? In Everything is built in Ponchetto. All yeah. telehandlers sold on the world are yes. built in Ponchetto in France, next to yeah. Nantes, the west coast of France. Do you want to pop the hood or will I pop the hood? I will do. You pop the hood. Okay. You want you this? Is no, it no, you, for you? No, no, you do it. You do it. It's, it's your fine. machine. So uh, yes. In terms of the engine, then what engine then? Is this a Bobcat engine? It's a Bobcat engine. It is a D24. Yes. Power wise, 75? 75 horsepower. Okay, yeah, so does yeah. that mean that there is a blue or there isn't a blue in this machine? There is no add blue because it's 75 horsepower. 75 so there is no need to add, yeah. add, add, add blue. And a DPF system in this or just? Yes, yes. There is DPF. There is a DPF. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can see here, uh, we, we work a lot with our engineers at Pont Chateau to build easy, easy maintenance access. Super. And of course, the same as all the other Bobcat machines here. I'm assuming this will come with the same three year, 3000 hour warranty for exactly. the same quarters? Exactly. Three year warranty as standard. So yeah. we are the only manufacturer to do this. Well, look, Florian, thank you for taking the time to take us through this teleporter. Uh, you're going to see this machine very, very soon. Uh, I'm going to try and uh, bribe Florian to get maybe the first one out of the factory so it comes to Ireland first. Uh, but no, look, thank you very much for taking the time to uh, yeah, meet sure. us and speak with us and uh, enjoy the rest of the fair. One big question that we were asked is how come you decided to go fully electric? How come you didn't go for the diesel engine and electric motor model? And we thought there's a lot of different things we could do if we went fully electric. So when you go fully electric, now software becomes a tool for us 